Quilters Newsletter Machine Quilting Tips and Techniques is brought to you by Bernina, Made to Create, and Benartex, Fabric for Quilters by Quilters. Hi, I'm Connie Fanders, and this is Quilters Newsletter Machine Quilting Tips and Techniques with Bernina. And in the previous episode, we showed you how to make piping. In this episode, I am going to show you how to insert the piping into your quilted projects. To begin with, I am going to use the piping foot, which is the number 12 Bernina Bulky Overlock Foot. And the beauty of this foot is that if you look at the bottom, there is a large groove that allows the piping to sew or feed perfectly straight through the bottom of the foot. So now we're going to take our presser foot and a little trick, if you have a foot that does not have a slot on the side of it to bring your thread underneath the foot, a little trick is to bring the needle through the opening of the foot and then pull the thread underneath. That way it will not be caught along the foot as you are sewing. So now we have our foot attached and here is my one side of the pillow and I'm going to line up the edge of my piping to the edge of my fabric and my needle position is moved over four places to the right. And I'm simply going to stitch it on and again it just guides beautifully along that channel that's on the bottom of the foot. Now when I get to the corner, I'm going to raise my foot and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim in here up to my stitching so that it can easily make this corner. And you may need to stop and reposition your fabric as you go. And continue to sew down the next side of the pillow. Now we have our piping sewn to one side of the pillow. We're going to take the pillow back and now I'm going to flip it over so you can see my stitching on this side. Now what I'm going to do when we go back to the machine is I'm going to move my needle position one notch over or one step over closer to the piping. That way the previous row of stitching from my piping sewing it to the pillow will not show. So I'm at my sewing machine and I'm going to move my needle position one step over to the left and I'm going to stitch So now you can see that I have stitched closer in from that last row of stitching and when we turn it to the right side, we will not see any of the stitching from the previous row. Now a commonly asked question is how do I join the piping as I come to the end? Well, it's very quite simple to do. When you begin sewing your piping, you're going to leave at least a two inch tail of the piping free. So you're going to start stitching here and you're going to continue all the way around. When you get to the end, again, you're going to stop with a good three inches left on the piping. You're going to open the piping up and you will place 
the starting point right up even with where it ends. The end here, we do want to fold over, so we do have a finished edge on that. Then you simply lay it down and stitch it, and it'll be seamless as to how the two pipings are combined. So that completes how to sew piping into your quilted project. Join us next time as we show you more quilted home decor techniques. Quilter's Newsletter Machine Quilting Tips and Techniques is brought to you by Bernina, Made to Create, and Benartex, Fabric for Quilters by Quilters. <laughs>